In this video, we're going to work through some basic log equations, and all of these problems require us to know how to convert between log form and exponential form. So if you haven't already learned that, I encourage you guys to check out our other video, which will teach you how to convert between log form and exponential form. So if you guys already know how to do that, then let's jump into example one, which is log base 5 of x is equal to 2. So what I want to write down first is how to convert between log and exponential form. So if we have log base b of x is equal to y, and we want to write this in exponential form, we write it as b to the y is equal to x. So this is going to be helpful when we're trying to solve for the input of our log. So in number one, we're trying to solve for the input of our log. So what we want to do first is change it into exponential form. So the base of our log is 5, so that's the base of our exponent. And then we're going to raise that to the second power and set that equal to x, so our x is by itself. So we get that x is equal to 5 squared, and 5 squared is just 25, so we get that x is equal to 25. Moving on to example 2, we have a similar equation. We have log base 2 of x is equal to 6. So again, I'm going to start by writing how we convert between log form and exponential form. And now we want to convert log base 2 of x equals 6 into exponential form. So the base of our log is going to become the base of our exponent. So we're going to have 2. We're going to raise that to the 6th power and set it equal to x. So we get that x is equal to 2 to the 6th. And 2 to the 6th is 64. So we get that x is equal to 64. Let's go through some more examples. So example 3 is log base 3 of x is equal to negative 4. And I encourage you guys to try these next two examples on your own. And then you can watch me work through them to make sure that you've solved them correctly. So we need to change this into exponential form. So we're going to write the base of our log as the base of our exponent. So we're going to have 3. We're going to raise that to the negative 4th and set it equal to our input of our log, which is x. And now remember, 3 to the negative 4th is the same as 1 over 3 to the 4th. So we can rewrite it as 1 over 3 to the 4th is equal to x. And I'm just going to write it as x is equal to. And 3 to the 4th is 81. So we get that x is equal to 1 over 81. And taking a look at example 4, we have log base 9 of x equals 1 half. So again, we want to change this into exponent form. So the base of our log becomes the base of our exponent. We're going to raise that to the 1 half and set it equal to x. And remember that raising something to the 1 half is the same as taking the square root of that number. So we get that the square root of 9 is equal to x. And the square root of 9 is 3, so we get that x is equal to 3. Let's go through some more challenging examples. So for these next two examples, we have an input that is different than just an x for our logs. And we have these special logs. So we have log and ln. So we're going to review what those two things mean. So we want to remember that log is the same as log base 10. So if there is no base with your log, it is log base 10. So I'm going to rewrite this as log base 10 of 2x is equal to 4. And let me just write how we convert from log form to exponential form really quickly. So b to the y is equal to x. And now we want to convert log base 10 of 2x equals 4 into exponential form. So we're going to do 10 to the 4th power is equal to 2x. And now I have to simplify the left side and then solve for x. So 10 to the 4th is going to give us 10,000. And this is equal to 2x. And now we're going to divide both sides by 2. And we're going to get that x is equal to 5,000. And moving on to example 6, we have this special log that's called ln. So ln is log base e. And e is just a special number in math that is going to be useful when we're dealing with exponential and logarithmic equations. So I'm going to rewrite ln as log base e of x plus 1 is equal to 2. Let's rewrite how to convert between log form and exponential form. And now we're going to convert log base e of x plus 1 is equal to 2 into exponential form. So we're going to take the base of our log, which is e, make that the base of our exponent, raise it to the second power, and set that equal to x plus 1. And to get the x by itself, we're going to subtract 1 from both sides. So we get that x is equal to e squared minus 1. 
And we can leave our answer like that, but I will also put it in the calculator for you guys to, S to approximate the answer in case you want to write it that way. So most calculators should have an E button, so you're just going to click the E button and then square that. And if you do that, you should get about 7.39. So you have 7.39 minus 1. And then if we simplify that and we subtract 1 from 7.39, we get that X is approximately 6.39. I'm going to box both answers because you can write it like this, which is exact form, or you can write it as an approximation of 6.39. Let's go through two more challenging examples. So taking a look at examples 7 and 8, this time we don't have the log by itself on one side of our equation. So that's what we need to do first. So what we want to do first is get this log by itself. So to do that, we're going to start by adding 3 to both sides of our equation. So now we have log base 8 of 1 minus x is equal to negative 2 plus 3, which is 1. And now we need to switch our log form into exponential form. So we're going to take our base of our log, which is 8, make that the base of our exponent, raise that to the first power, and set it equal to the input of our log, so 1 minus x. 8 to the first is just 8, so we have 8 is equal to 1 minus x. And now to solve for x, first we're going to subtract 1 from both sides. 8 minus 1 gives us 7 on the left, and we're left with negative x on the right. And then finally we want to divide both sides by negative 1 to get rid of that negative. And over here we're going to be left with an x on the right side. I'm just going to put on the left. And 7 divided by negative 1 is going to give us a negative 7. So we get that x is equal to negative 7. And taking a look at our last example, we have 2 log base 4 of 2x plus 5 is equal to 9. So again, our goal is to get this log by itself first. So we're going to start by subtracting 5 from both sides of our equation. On the left, we're left with 2 log base 4 of 2x. On the right, 9 minus 5 is 4. And now we're going to divide both sides of this equation by 2 to get rid of that 2 out in front. We're going to be left with log base 4 of 2x on the left. And on the right, 4 divided by 2 is just 2. And now we want to change it into exponent form, so we're going to use this rule over here on the left. So we're going to write it as 4 to the second power is equal to the input of our log, which is 2x. Now we want to simplify and solve. So 4 to the second power is 16. So we have 16 is equal to 2x. And finally, we're going to divide both sides of our equation by 2 to get that x is equal to 8. So hopefully this video helped you guys learn how to solve some basic log equations. If you want some more practice with problems like this, check out the link in our description for a free practice worksheet.